Well, other than wanting to snap my headphones in half, because they're making some weird static noise, I'm sure it's something you guys probably can't hear. Um, as I probably would have heard something say, or somebody said, <laughs> here, read somebody say something about it earlier. Uh, Tamiz is still working on getting that. We need these bars back together so we can... What do we want to invest our bars in next? Hmm. <laughs> I know it's something important, as is everything. Is the heater? I guess we could get that industrial heater going on the inside. We do need more batteries too. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> we need fuses as well. I don't think it really matters where you place the fuses at all. Just place a couple out there. And, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to kind of wall that off too. What are we working with? Limestone? And we all, ha we have all that to go through as well. Shit. I don't know if I want to put a big heavy door there, but I don't want to use up, uh... Oh, we're still burying people. I don't want to burn up any of our, uh... Our wood with that. It's like we gotta go back to cooking human flesh again. We only have 15 jerky left. Or 16 jerky. And that's not gonna last us too long. Um, I can butcher the ants, but they only give like two or three meat a piece. Not a whole lot. Not very satisfying. Holy shit, Cappy. Yeah. Uh... Huh? Why are you having... That's odd. Well, I guess it is negative 66 out there. That's kind of cold. Um, <laughs> negative 66 degrees is kind of cold. Uh, Cappy, go back to your room before you fucking kill yourself. Not only that, but it'll help your mood too. You could run into Tamiz's room real quick. Yeah, you're warming up a little bit. Improve your mood some, so you don't go insane. It's too cold for you to... You still want to go back in there and hang out. I kind of need a heater out there. I need to find him some better clothes. I said he had a hemp parka. Hemp parka. That's the fucking shield. It's worthless. But I don't know who's got shield... Who out here has shields. Shit. Go ahead and forbid all these bodies too for the time being. It's not like they're going anywhere. Speaking of which, we still have some meals out here to eat as well. So let's leave those. I think power armor it should give more. I know it's heat reduction armor, but. Let's have him go grab that real quick. I think it would work better than what he has on, which I think is just like a, a shirt or something on whatever layer it is. Jeez, too many fucking layers. 
It is cold as balls outside, though. There we go. That's better. Oh, wow. Replaced the parka and the tribal wear, but uh, he's still better than what he was. Still very cold. Uh, we don't have anybody else that would have had... Oh, it was the 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 manned gun that I was wanting to get. That was really important. I kind of forgot that we were in a situation with this colony where there's a lot of people who want to kill us, and the waves that we're going to be getting are are going <laughs> to they're going to get out of hand. In fact, if we get a wave large enough that's going to be able to mine through anywhere out here and get at us, we're essentially just going to be fucked. We're going to be using we're going to be using that that gun as a crutch. What do we want to research next, though? Um, food synthesizer. I think we can just play, straight up place human meat in there. That should get rid of the negative moodlet for eating humans. Uh, Moitus would still have to deal with the whole issue of everybody. Um. Not liking humans being cooked. Or, not cooked, uh, butchered. That's it. Because they're not getting cooked, they're getting synthesized. Blast doors would be nice. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the soil and green would be good too. But I'm honestly not even sure what I need to unlock that uh, branch. Hell, I might even have to get the food synthesizer first and then the soil and green comes afterwards. We'll head in that direction, I suppose. We can be, um. Not complete cannibals, I guess. I mean, they would still be cannibals, they're still eating people. What do they call it in this game? Soyrent or, or something? Not Soylent Green. But it's like Soyrent Red or something. I can't remember. Oh, of course you're a pessimist. Eating in the dark? That's kind of... Eight off the ground. Eight off the ground, that doesn't make sense. And neither does the shared bedroom thing. To me, you don't have a shared bedroom. Nobody has his bed claimed. I mean, if that's going to be a problem, then we'll just have Moitus rip the fucking thing up. But you don't have a shared room. This is the the only place I'm really worried about anybody digging through. I guess they could through here. Well, if I could if I could get everybody's mood improved enough, if I could get enough amenities in here, then then eating people like this wouldn't be a problem. The Martian? I, I've yet to see that, and I'm very interested. What? What's? The, what's the uh, the tagline for that movie? I'm going to science the shit out of this, or whatever. Pretty sure it's on all the trailers. Kramer, I know I know what game you're ta you're talking about, but I have no fucking idea of what kind of context that is, or I don't have a context for that. It's gonna go straight over my head. Oh wow! Uh, skate pod crash nearby. Who are we getting? Considering our circumstances, we are probably going to begin recruiting the shit out of people. 
Um, let's see. It's a surgeon at that. Oh, yeah. If we just tore up that bed. Ah. I guess this middle hallway could be a... <laughs> Not a greatest place for... You know. To put people. Because... Of the cold. But we don't have many choices at the moment. So, Moitis, go uh, set up that excellent bed. trying to haul it. <laughs> Whoops. I told him to haul it. Rescue Artemis. And I think we should uh, have a decent chance and just outright recruiting her because of Moitis' uh, social skills. I get that gun built. I need more barbed wire to come down these embrasures. I need to remove that barbed wire and replace it with an embrasure. I need one more uh, windmill. Actually, hold on a second. <laughs> Drop Moitis for just a second and go ahead and deconstruct this. Let's see how many chips are actually here. Since you're already down here, I'm kind of, I'm going to guess that there's not going to be that many that you get. 38, 7, 45. What can we do with 45 chips? We could make some plasma generators. We need plasteel, but they've got that too. So, there's plasma generators. What else you needed them for? The, um,. I think it's 50 per automated turret. But we don't have that researched yet, of course. That's top tier security. It's like... It's like six... I can't even remember how many it is for nuclear plan. We could build some laser solar plants. Oh, well, it's still solar-powered. 5,000 watts. Well, it costs, us, it costs a lot of uranium. Now, we're going to be sticking with the plasma generators. We're going to be sticking a bunch of these them out here. Eventually, wall off another area. But they need to be unroofed because the ridiculous amount of heat they release. We're still doing good on power right now. Anyway. Oh, no, we're actually losing power at the moment. Okay, go ahead and treat Artemis, Moitis. We'll take care of Moitis and uh, try and recruit her before she leaves. 57 years old, that's not good. Oh, wow. That's probably one of the better skilled uh, refugees I've ever seen. Hi. Hi. Even though you are of a ripe age, we can, f we can fix that. Cataracts, bad... Yeah, frail spine. Doesn't have a bad back, but the frail spine is going to be a bit of a problem. Cataracts, we can take care of that easily. We can use you. Most definitely. Oh, you weren't even finished treating? Whoops. I probably should have been paying closer attention when I was looking at the health screen. I'm sure it was kind of obvious. Exotic and Shields Trader. Um, we definitely want to talk to them. <clears throat> it's all the extra clothing we've got. 
that's all. They actually have some glitter world medicine. You don't see that too often. Some thrombo horns. If we had some of those to sell, that'd be great. Spell Tonky on the arcade. Wonderful. Mm. That's it, I suppose. Need every little bit of silver we can get. So we can buy... Uh, so we can get our hands on some more uranium. Next time a trader comes through, anyways. Huh, and another exotics trader. Uh, anything different you'd be interested in buying? No, same thing. Do you have anything good? No. Nothing I want in particular. Thank you, though. I'm actually surprised to see that you, <laughs> uh, Cappy and Tamiz aren't absolutely freaking out and still going berserk, though <laughs> we're going to have to cook up some more human flesh. We're down to 11 more meals. Wait, where are you... I'm such an idiot. Tamiz wanted to go to bed so bad he... Oh no. Hypothermia. I forgot about that. Well, sorry about your luck, Artemis, but you obviously weren't meant to be. I'm too used to having the icons on my colonists telling me when they're freezing to death and... Not these guys. I don't want Artemis to be sticking around right there, though, so go ahead and bury Artemis right now. Sorry about that, Artemis. <laughs> we only have two heated rooms at the moment. And Artemis wasn't exactly equipped to handle the cold weather where uh, her pod crashed. So we'll just stuff her in the ground for now. And then once we get hungry enough, we'll dig her up. Because eventually all these bodies are going to be processed and consumed. The human leather market is quite wonderful. I'm actually surprised uh, none of those guys were interested in uh, human leather that we've got available. Yeah, I know Tamiz is in a poor mood. As well. Still pissed off about his room? No. The unpleasant chats didn't help, though. And he's in a little pain, apparently. Oh, yeah, I forgot about his nose being gone, uh, his eye being crushed. <laughs> his hand being gone and a toe being gone and uh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Tamiz. <laughs> as long as you protect Mortis, that's all that matters. I think we've only lost to one colonist so far. What the hell, Cappy? Negative sixty seven. It's negative seventy three degrees Celsius outside. What a brisk uh, November morning. <laughs> Just don't kill yourself out there. They should get to a certain point and then uh, seek warm temperatures, but I kind of worry because he gets a little fixated on that research table. Hey, FaZe. Hmm. <laughs> The plasma, the plasma shield actually isn't too bad of an idea. Um, yeah. The only problem would be is, you know, hmm. see, I, I'm worried about that because it could cause some problems if it doesn't get cold or if it doesn't get warm enough or if it gets too hot. Hello, phone. Uno momento.